Hello and welcome to the channel. This is uh, round two of another part of my collection that I'm going to get rid of today. So um, some of these I managed to already get back either digitally on the Switch or on my Steam Deck. Um, this is available I think on the Steam Deck Plants vs Zombies Buffer Neighborhoodville. Um, Goosebumps Dead of Night, that is available on Steam. Um, it wasn't on sale, so I didn't buy that one. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, that was on sale on Nintendo, so I did buy that. Uh, Sonic Colors is available on Steam. Now, I screwed up last time. I gave away, um, I had my copy of Pod Racer and Commando, but I actually threw the cartridge for uh, Jedi Knight 2 and Jedi Academy. Um, because I still have the cartridge for a racer and Mer a commando combo. The writing was so small on the cartridge, I couldn't tell the difference. So I have to kind of trade this in now. Even though I, I, I want to keep Jedi Knight uh, and Jedi Academy. Jedi Knight 1 and 2. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, I got that on Steam, it was on sale, thankfully. Uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2, Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, now with this one, I actually already purchased it digitally, um, probably a year or two ago, and I still ended up getting a physical copy just for the heck of it. It was on sale when I bought it, um, but now I don't really need the physical copy, so uh, yeah, I'll... I'll trade that in, get some money. Overpass. Now that is available on Steam, but it says that it's unplayable, but I, I got it on sale today, thankfully. So I will test it out and see if it'll work. Even if it doesn't, I can still purchase it on the eShop at some point. Uh, Tales of Vesperia, now I think that is also on Steam. Uh, the Harry Potter Lego Collection, uh, I know I showed it last time, I, I decided this time I, I, I will actually part with it. Um, I did favorite it on, uh, I did put it on my wish list on the eShop. Um, it is, both the uh, games are available on Steam, I'll just part with it now. Um, and. The Disney Classic Games Collection, uh, Jungle Book, Aladdin, and Lion King. Uh, that is available on Steam. It's just not on sale right now. But I'm hoping for the summer um, summer sale, a lot of these games will be on sale and I'll be able to rebuy them at that point. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise. I was able to repurchase this on the eShop. It was on sale for a significant discount. Um, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. This is a bit of a rare game for the Switch, but I do have it for PlayStation and on Steam. Um, I don't really need it for Switch. It, it runs quite well on my Steam Deck. Um, Sky 01 Complete. I've never played it. Um, I might get it again digitally or something like that. Uh, TMNT Cowabunga Collection. Now I do have, I did film a short of my, me unboxing this that I probably will still upload in the future. Um, I just don't know when. Um, but uh, yeah, so if, if you see that short, don't get too confused. Um, but I, I still want to upload it. Um, and also this one, Star Trek Prodigy Supernova. Um, I filmed a short of that as well. And I think I'll have two more games. Dragon Mark for Death. Now the thing that kind of sucks is they split this game up into two. Even though it's the same game, but there's two different versions of it on the eShop. Um, and they each come with two characters that you can play as. And they're different. But yet they're still the same game, which is kind of stupid. But on Steam, it's available in the same version as it is physically for the Switch. Um, then Goosebumps the Game. Um, I got this on Steam. 
And then it was like two dollars Canadian. It was it was like eighty five percent off or something like that. It was ridiculously cheap. So I'm definitely gonna get more than that. I think I paid like forty bucks for the physical copy. Um, the two Goosebumps games are more rare and hard to find. They're not overly expensive, but they're they're not that common to come across. Um, as what I found when I was trying to find them. Um, I ordered one of them online and the other one I actually managed to find in store um, in one of the stores locally um, they just happened to have it but it was like $47.99 or something like that it was a weird price and uh, yeah that's all the games um, both Goosebumps games are available on Steam so I'll, I'll get them there I'll get the other one there later now, I'm not sure if this guy is on Steam, um, but it is on the eShop, so I might just repurchase it there. Because I'm not planning on getting rid of any of my Switches at this point. Um, I'm just getting rid of my physical games collection. Um, I'm going digital, because yeah, these cartridges actually have an expiry date. Who knows when that date is, but eventually they'll they'll all be um, dead and no good. So I might as well um, sell them while I have the opportunity to, and let somebody else enjoy them or something like that, and uh, I can just get the games digitally. Now I don't entirely trust Nintendo with their eShop because of how they kind of handle things with the, all their older systems. Um, I'd rather get them on Steam if I can. Um, I am keeping all my Nintendo exclusives until I can purchase them digitally when they're on sale. But some of them don't go on sale that often. Um, yeah. What kind of triggered this is the whole thing with the Wii U issue that arose with people leaving it sit for long periods of time without turning them on. And then they go to turn it on and the flash memory is dead. Because um, Nintendo went cheap on the flash memory and uh, yeah. And these cartridges use um, similar flash memory as far as what I understand. Um, it is different from like NES, Game Boy... Genesis, SNES cartridges of like old consoles and the old handhelds and stuff like that. Uh, they do tend to last longer, but it's just the, the way that the mo more modern um, flash memory is on um, cartridges is not as robust and not as um, long lasting. So, um, yeah. They might still last another 15, 20 years, but <coughs> as long as I can still play the games in the future, that's all I care about. And Steam has been pretty good. Um, it's just going to suck when they shut down the eShop for the Switch. Because, yeah. But uh, I'll just get what I can, when I can. Um... To have them out, at least digitally and stuff like that. Um, some games I'm going to have to keep physically because I can't get them digitally. Like for example, um, the Super Mario um, All-Stars. Um, that was delisted from the eShop a couple of years ago now. Um, I have a physical copy, but um, yeah... I'll just keep it until that cartridge dies or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I kind of wish I bought it digitally as well. But, oh well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a good one.